Okay, welcome back to the shop. It is day one. Day one is simply spraying underneath the hood and spraying underneath the trunk. Probably three coats of base and got a flash off between each of those. Once we do that, we're gonna put a couple of coats of clear. We don't need to put five coats of clear. There will be no cutting and polishing underneath this hood. So like I said, we just need to put a couple of coats of clear, seal them up, get them all done, and then we can flip the panels over. Tomorrow then is the big day. Tomorrow this is where we cover this entire car in the gray magnetic and get it all sealed up with one coat of clear on everything. And that's just to protect the paint and at the same time give me a good foundation so that I can put the um, stripes on this car, which is day three, which is Friday. But anyways, that's the important stuff. But here, I just want to show you a few things. I've actually dialed this when I was holding the gun in my hand at full force and I watched this drop to about 40 pounds when the gun's actually running. So that means this is dialed in at about 40 pounds or 45 pounds. The gun then sees 40 pounds, 45 pounds of pressure, but only gives about 23 pounds to the actual nozzle. So you want to cut that back. And of course, I emptied my water separator, make sure that we have no water in the line. So that's all been cleaned up. So that's number one. Number two is the gun. As you can see here at idle, it's only reflecting that, you know, that 80 pounds at the uh, pump. But when I pull the trigger, you can see we drop into a nice 23. And this is so that we don't get a huge rebound. We don't want to be cycling the gun all the way down from 120 pounds. So this is why we had it right dialed in at about 23 pounds of pressure. So that's number two. Number three, of course, is we now have a gallon of the J7, which is the Ford color, which is the gray magnetic metallic. Obviously, we need to have our base, um, which is going to be our reducer. And it is a medium reducer, and that's why we had to wait for this weather. We got a great day today for spraying, so we're gonna mix some of this up and we're gonna spray it out. I've got all of my pinstriping ready to go, but that's Friday. Don't get ahead of ourselves. And of course, I need the mixer. And I bought brand new filters because, again, we're going to be spraying for the next three days and we want to keep these lungs clear. So new filters on the respirator. But other than that, let's go painting. Well, there we are, both panels are done. So we're gonna let that sit overnight, obviously, and tomorrow morning we can flip them over, uh, prep those sides, make sure they're clean, obviously uncover the car, spread the panels out, make sure everything's ready to go there, tack the whole thing down, clean it up, and then we're gonna spray uh, the color tomorrow. Once the color's all sprayed up, we're gonna put one coat of clear on this thing, let it sit overnight, and then Friday we'll be back and we're gonna lay the stripes out and then hit it with the black. And then hopefully once all that's done and we can peel the stripe uh, masking off, we can then hit the whole car probably with uh, three or four coats of clear. And that way there we have plenty of the sand away. But uh, like I said, that's another day. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and I'll see you again.